Atlanta Sky Hot Lighthouse. So, um, I just wanted to say, um, guys, since I moved to California, um, I have learned how to listen to and try to figure out what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling. Uh, when I hear something, when I um, tune in to what's going on around me, and for being someone that absorbs a lot of other people's energies, I am have been in a learning process of learning how to listen to my own inner self. And I can say, quite honestly, since we are in such a world of where people go to work in brick buildings and where you go to, you know, do your job every day, uh, we wear shoes, which doesn't connect us with the earth anymore. And some people have it so strong that it doesn't matter what they're wearing, what they're doing, they can pick up on energies. And they listen. Some of us take a little bit longer. Everyone's on their own path, their own strength, their own... Um, learning how to listen to themselves. Like, for example, my sister, she has been way, she's way more empathic than I am, and everything hits her like a ton of bricks. Me, because of my ADHD, and she has it too, but I have it worse. And for those of us that have neutrons and cells in our brain going so fast, it takes us longer to go, oh, wait a minute. That's not right. Or, oh, what? Wow. I should have listened, but I had got that little feeling. So I just want to say that as time goes on, especially in the past 59 years of my life, I i mean, I remember, a, 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 and I've talked about this before, um, a carriage, a guy that used to go around where my, um, at my grandma's with a horse-drawn cart selling uh, vegetables and, and fruits and what have you on his little cart. Okay, that was um, 52 years ago, somewhere in that time. When was the last time you saw that? You might see a horse-drawn carriage in New York or New Orleans. You don't see that no more. There's so many things that have disappeared from our world in just 50 years. When I was a kid, I remember my mom telling me, Oh, yeah, honey, I remember when TV came out. Think about cell phones. When I got with my ex -boy the boyfriend before the one that passed away, everybody started getting cell phones. And the first time we ever got one, and I opened up the box and the, the Android came on, I totally freaked. I was like, what the hell? Because <laughs> I'd never had a cell phone before. For those of you that have had nothing, that you're like, gee, my earliest memory, there was computers, cell phones, whatever. There, those of us that still exist, that didn't have all that. So paying attention to your instincts, a lot of people have lost. It, a lot of times people still will get that fear when crossing a dark parking lot or walking home and you've always walked home and all of a sudden... You know, you're now paying more attention because there's so many bad things happening that you're listening for those footsteps behind you thinking somebody might be following you. So, learning to listen with my instincts now has become so much more important in my life, especially the past few years, since, especially since about the time COVID hit. That's when I started getting the major ear ringing and Will passed away, Aaron committed suicide, and so many things have changed in the past two years. If life is speeding up this much for me, I can't imagine how much is speeding up for Gen X, Gen Z, all the different the millennials, the people that are so much younger than me. Um, and it's scary because our world is changing so fast, we can't even keep up with it. You don't believe me? Go look at all the things that people put camera-wise around their home. The little bugs that you can pick up that are no bigger than this that you can put on your wall, around your house, outside, um, so that you can get a picture of the porch thief before he comes up and steals the box off your porch. We didn't have that crap when I was a kid. So I am stuck in between World War II and what came after him and everything that's now. So my life and everything that I've seen has changed so much. My daughter-in-law can get on my phone and do anything on it while I have to hunt and peck everything and try to figure out the sequence, which I have problems with that anyway. But my point is, is that we are so, we have so lost our ability to be able to tune into what the earth, the universe, spirit guides, angels, your own internal warning system is telling you. And folks, 
I just keep, every once in a while, I'll hear something that I'll stop and I'll think about. Or I'll say, or, or I'll even just stop and I'll just get all these mixed emotions and things inside that are not, some of them are warnings, some of them are, oh shit, <laughs> you know, that really makes sense to me. Ooh, I don't like the way that feels, the way it's going. So you'll have to pardon me if I have some of this stuff that's going on that maybe some of you have always paid attention to. Or maybe some of you are going, you know, I'm starting to kind of figure that out too. Like learning how to have boundaries and learning how to, um, you know, check out when there's red flags around you from people that really don't have your best interest at heart. All them, that, there's, there's just a crap load of it out there. And so much has changed. People are trying to figure out how they feel and what their instincts are telling them, whereas they didn't used to. So we're kind of in a in a, in a in between moment right now, I think, where we are from the recent past, which is the future from a long time ago, and where we're going now. That there's so many different things happening, and so many our world is completely changing so much that I think there's a lot of confusion out there, and. I just want to stress that you really need to pay attention to how you feel about things. And I've met so many people that just were just like, Psh, you know, they might feel something once in a while or say, you know, I should have paid attention to that because we are so overblown with social media. We're so over overwhelmed with um, how fast the world is changing. And I'm not going to live to see it all, but maybe some of you will. But I really think, especially in our country... And I'm not a political person, and I'm not anti-government. I think you have to have the government to have rules. But there's so much, I think the, the light and the dark is having such a hard time keeping balance right now. And the universe is like trying to find the people that are holding open the doors for those of us that are going to shine the light where we need to go. I think communities need to pull together more than what they ever had before. And I don't think, I think more people are slowly tuning in, but I don't think enough are listening. So please, please listen to your instincts. Listen to what the universe is telling you. Listen to what your own internal guidance system is telling you. Keep your family safe. Keep your children safe. There's human trafficking out there. Is, I mean, it's always been out there. There's always, and I, don't take this the wrong way. There's gay people, there's transgender, there's everybody feeling all these different things because our world is turning over and changing so fast that I think as, and me and a friend were just talking about this, he was trying to describe how he felt about transgender. And I was like, well, you know, I kind of have a feeling about that. I said, to me, it feels like there's, there's, there's people being born and there's people dying all the time, but I think there's no, there's not as big of a gap between reincarnation as what there used to be. And I think some people are literally dying and being reborn so fast. And if they're born into another sex, that's where maybe some of the, but they identify already with the other sex. To me, that's just an idea. But I have one of those, hmm, I wonder if that could be it, you know. Other people, they're just, it, things are just changing so fast. And I am one that believes live and let live. I am very open-minded. I do not agree with pedophiles. And I don't care what religious belief you hide behind. If you're you're hurting a child, and that includes young teenagers, you're wrong. They're not old enough to make up their own minds. And if you force it on them, then you're a pedophile. That's just my opinion. Point of view. Um, and we've seen that back in the, what, past, in the past 20 years where over there in one of those other states in the United States, I'm not even going to say. Because I have mixed feelings about a lot of different things. Hurting children, I do not. I don't think anyone else does either, especially if you have children. Um, but my thing is that I'm trying to say is that with everything changing so fast, please pay attention to how you feel. Because I really think in the next 20 years, or maybe even 30 years, I mean, we our country is probably still going to be here. But there's already so many homeless people everywhere. Children going hungry. And there's always been, you know, like, look at, look at um, what was it, Detroit. Me and my ex drove through there when I first started learning how to, before I even learned how to drive an 18-wheeler. Detroit was a ghost town because there was no more big car companies that are building cars. People literally deserted their homes, their animals. Their, you don't believe me? Go through Chicago or go through Illinois. Go to, um, go through Detroit sometime and see how many neighborhoods there, it's nothing but a ghost town. Unless they've revamped it. 
And I don't think so. Somebody recently on another channel, I've talked about this before, Lord Spoda, went through Oregon. I love Oregon. I, I, you know, I really wanted to go th go to like some places because of a movie, a show I saw one time. I've always liked the, the Oregon coast anyway. He went through Portland, Oregon. Thousands upon thousands of people living in tents. No job, no money. How many of those people you think have kids, have animals, are struggling to make day in, day out? It's everywhere, folks, and it's just getting worse. So pay attention to what the universe is telling you because there's going to be some of you out there that you're meant to hold the door and guide some of us. Some of us are going to be ones that are going to be the ones that come up with new ideas, new ways to pull communities together where people aren't starving to death, where we're all helping each other regardless of what color you are, what religion you are, what your culture is, what your any whatever. People, we're all people. You need to learn. I don't want to say you need to learn to get along, but and sometimes I thought it just occurred to me. Sometimes things happen in your own family where you suddenly realize you can no longer have any kind of bigoted beliefs you used to have because you were against um, a certain race or a culture, and then you got a grandkid. You got a grandkid that was part of that culture or whatever that you weren't that you didn't agree with, and all you see when you look at that kid, when you look at that grandbaby, you love that grandbaby. You don't care. It's part of you. It doesn't matter what color it is, what culture it came from. Rather, it's Chinese, Japanese, Indian, black, um, whatever. You see what I'm saying? People, you've got, we've got to let some of this old crap go because we're headed somewhere else. And I don't know where it is, but I've just been getting little pokes with it for quite a while now. And I just want everybody to love everybody because that's just me. I just want everybody to be happy and that's not possible for everybody to be happy because the bad keeps threatening to overtake the good and there's so many people that don't have the money they used to have or they lost their home the stock market's up and down i mean just whatever the case may be we need to just quit looking at all those different things and just say that's another human being and if you see some good people that are struggling if you can help them help them if you see people that are that are you know, trying to pull some shenanigans and take people for a little bit that they have, call them out on it. Call them out and tell them, you know, have something to back it up. I just studied law at one time. Do you have something to back it up? Just go around, you know, but if you think someone's trying to be hurt and you can, you can help them out and you can get them away from someone that's trying to take advantage, do it. Because what if it was your daughter, your son, your um, grandchild, your sister that you really love, your favorite aunt? Whatever. We're all human. We all bleed red. I don't care what. If you're human, you bleed red. So there's been a few stories here and there about people that didn't. I'm trying to keep it somewhat light. Um, I'm just saying, folks, it just, I just, I hope that I don't, it doesn't happen in my lifetime. I really hope it doesn't. But if you listen to any kind of Navajo teachings, the Navajo talk about America coming and America going. And I recently saw the video I saw. Oh my God, it's been maybe 10 years ago. I saw it on a, um, a commercial or something. Oh, my ears are going off. Yeah, I'm going to mention this. Um, <laughs> um, I, folks, I don't know. I just know I'm just having some thoughts of we just need to pull together as humanity. So if you believe that you're a good person, if you have any reservations towards anyone that's of a different culture or belief system than you or race or religion or anything, please don't let it stop you from helping someone. Um, we really need to pull together. We really need to find ways to help ourselves because, you know, the, the supreme um, um, different people in government and different... Uh, people that have lots of money that that really just care about getting their own word out. They don't really care about the smaller people that are doing all the work, that are carrying all the, the weight of everything else because they have all the money. They can just order whatever they want or do whatever they want. It's us smaller people that are helping to make things go. What happens when there's no more of us to go because all of us are homeless or, or a whole bunch of us don't have what we used to have or our pensions are gone or I've heard stories about that. And, I'm, and a lot of this people has to do with stories that I've seen. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that it's all true. I just want you to think about it. So this is probably my longest video yet. But I'm just feeling, I saw a video and 
one of my favorite tarot readers. I didn't know she had another channel. And I got all kind of emotions dredged up and all of a sudden all these thoughts I had, because I do channel. And when I start getting all these thoughts that I know are not mine, I know my angels are telling me, look at this. And they're telling me that for a reason. So a lot of what I've just said here is personal belief, but I've also had a couple of little things that come in the way my angels do with me and little pictures or little ideas just one or two little sentences and it's meant for you to hear it if you want to think i'm bs bypass this video it's not meant for you it's not going to resonate with everybody just like a tarot card reading and i don't do tarots anymore mind you i still want to do my uh, my runes but and i don't even know if this video is going to upload it may not upload for a couple of days today is uh monday um the 20th so whenever it gets up and gets loaded up because i'm getting really bad service right now it gets loaded up but if i said anything that resonates with you please think about it and if you can do some good with it please do um this is lana scott lighthouse i just had a bunch of i guess downloads or thoughts and i just felt like i just needed to I just need to talk about it. This is a girl that has to say something. Lana Scott Lighthouse, if you like this video, if you find anything useful for it, or you know somebody else has been talking about anything I've talked about here, share it, see what they think. They can either say it's BS or they can say, hey, you know, I kind of think, I kind of know where she's coming from. That's fine. This is just an open forum right now. And I love everybody that, that does take the time to listen to me. I do care about my fellow man. And if you're a user abuser, I have no, no use for you, no need for you, because you only care about you. If you're somebody that wants to learn, wants to grow, wants to help other people, while being safe yourself and your family being safe, maybe this video is for you. So, Lena Scott... Everybody have a great evening, and um, I don't know when it's going to load, but I really do hope if it helps you or you know someone that's going through something similar, please share it with them. See what their thoughts are. Maybe it'll start. Maybe, if anything else, it'll start up a conversation between you, your family, and your best friend. Um, I used to have little hen parties when I was in Mississippi. And if you don't know what a hen party is, um, it is... Women that care about their families and their friends getting together and just having open conversation and forums. I'm probably going to start another channel. I don't know if it's going to be on YouTube or if it's going to be on Facebook. I already have a name for it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And it's going to be an open forum where people can just get together and talk about things. And I'm probably going to be starting it real soon. I may have to get some advice on how to do it. But I love you all. And I really just want to see people, if you're already here, rather you're pregnant or not pregnant or you're a guy or a girl just starting your family or your family's already here and you know that that, that those are the ones that are dearest nearest to your heart i just want everybody to be safe and happy and i'm seeing so many sad things in our in our in our country now i even saw a video earlier a girl was talking about she wanted to go to sweden was it sweden because she was like yeah they take all your money but she's like but i can go to the doctor anytime i want you can do this you can do that it, it, I have to go find that video again. People, please nobody shoot me for this. Our country's not the best in the world anymore. There's too many people out there just for themselves, and they don't care about the smaller people. And we're the ones that keep the cogs in the wheel, keep going, to keep going. So I really hope the best for everybody. Now I'm going to get off of here because I do tend to ramble. But I do care about each and every one of my subscribers, and I hope all of you have a wonderful evening, and please take care of your families. The love your loved ones, your children, your grandchildren, your aunts, your uncles, your mom, your dad, everybody. Just think about what I said. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, it's just what I'm feeling at this moment. Because uh, of a couple of things that I saw, especially this one uh, video from this other group, tarot reader. And I just had some concerns. I wanted to share them. Ciao. I shall see y'all tomorrow. This is my last video for the night. Lance Scott Lighthouse.